Okay, g'day guys. Look, uh, a friend of mine uh, who's using Pluspec just asked me how we're going to go about creating eaves like this, parapet eaves. Okay, uh, you can see more of uh, Daniel's work at AidenDesigns.com. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, so what I roughly did, I don't have the plan, so I'm just going to quickly sort of jot out how I think it works. Uh, and I'm not going to get into too much detail here because I'm not actually drawing it for him. I am simply just going to show you how the, the ruse would work. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this one comes up a little bit higher or something like that, something like that, something like that. <clears throat> you can mould and everything with SketchUp. I like to call this formwork. Now, if I was doing the job, I'd, I would probably draw the walls and so on. But um, <clears throat> let's go back to that photo and have a bit of a look. So let's start with this area here. It looks like he's got an overhang here, here, and around the back, I'm taking a bit of a guess, uh, and box gutters. Okay, so, so there's a couple of things that I need to do. I need to go, okay, well, I need to split this roof up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using SketchUp as formwork. Okay, um, so I, what I've done is actually divided that face by putting that line through there. Now, I would surmise there's going to be a box gutter here, but it might be at the front. It doesn't matter which way it is. I'm going to move this box gutter out. So what I did, I'll just go to here, the move tool. I went and clicked it. If I move the whole wall, notice it stretches and, and plays with things. I don't want it to do that, but if I push control, it just moved it out. I can type in a distance, so say I wrote in 300 millimeters for that box gutter, and I say there's going to be another box gutter here. Okay, I push control, move is a shortcut on your keyboard. It's a good idea to get used to those. Okay, so now I can see I'm going to have an overhang here, here, but not against these walls. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my roof tool. I'm going to select the first tool, this one here. As it opens up, you'll notice that we have <clears throat> the pitch, and if you click this drop down, we can have a skillion roof or a hip roof, okay, the type of roof and so on. Uh, I've got my overhangs in, I'm going to leave them at 600, uh, and my fascia height is 180, which is usually about standard uh, in a metric or imperial. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go and submit, and now I'm going to start at the lowest point because I'm surmising that the roof goes back to here, okay. I start at my lowest point and I start to follow the roof around. Now, oh, if I make a mistake like that, just push delete. You don't have to go back and redraw again, just push delete and it'll keep on drawing. When I get to here, I don't want an overhang. I'm going to push control and I'm holding down control and notice the lines are going darker. Okay, so now I've got the roof itself, but I still need to have uh, my parapet eaves. So I can do several things. If I look underneath here, I have a face. Okay, I can offset that face, which is going to bring it out 600 plus the width of the parapet. So I'm going to surmise that it's going to be, I don't know, 150 millimeters parapet. It might be 90, whatever it is. And I'm pushing enter. Now, oops, I should have, I'm just going to re undo that. So control Z will undo that. I'm still in my offset tool. I'm going to offset this face. Now this is a SketchUp formwork, so it's a 600E plus 150, which would mean I go 750 mil offset. Now you notice that I have a base. Because the parapets are actually built out of material, and they have a thickness, I'm going to draw them in walls. There are other ways I could do it. I could push pull the face up and just create it in geometry uh, like this. So push pull here. I can simply bring it up like this, and then I can go and move these parapets around to suit my existing roof, right? And that's fine just for, for drawing. Um, or I'm going to undo that, Control Z, and actually show how it will be built because it's a good way to explain to clients what's going to happen. I'm going to go to my wall tool. You can select the type of wall it might be out of. It might be a clad wall. It might have polystyrene or EPS on it. And select the height of the wall and also reduce your header height. If you don't reduce the header height lower than the window, this will come up red and it won't draw. Okay, I'm going to go submit. Now I'm going to go to here, and you'll notice as I zoom in, it's drawing from the outside of the timber work that holds it up. If I go my right arrow, it will move where I'm drawing from, so I'm clicking the right arrow as I do that. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to draw over top of, I made a mistake there, I'm going to draw straight over top of the SketchUp formwork. Now remember guys, you, you're in SketchUp, so you don't have to actually do that. Now I have my 
parapet number one. I'm going to do the same up here, but what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to offset two sides. So what I did, I clicked my spacebar, selected the line, and I'm going to go offset 600 millimeters. But I actually probably want to offset this as well, I think, from memory on that drawing. I'm going to go offset, and I'm going to come out uh, 600 plus my 150, which is 750, enter. Now I have a bit of uh, form work there done in SketchUp. Right, I can go and do my parapet again. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do my roof first. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my roof tool, select the first tool. And the first time you draw, the first time you open up, give it a second because when you start to draw, it'll take a minute to draw. Okay, I'm going to make the uh, eave on this, uh, the gutter on this one come to the front. So I'm going to go submit. Now I do want an overhang here. So I'm going to go here, start at the lowest point. It's very important to remember that. Okay, now I don't want an overhang along this wall here, so I'm holding control. And I do want an overhang here, let go of control. I have that. I can change those gutters later. Uh, I can now go in and I can um, make this into a box cutter if I please. So if I triple click until I get to the gutter, I can delete it and I can put in a, a box gutter. So I can do it in SketchUp and use the BIM tool. So if I just go rectangle, uh, which is R as a shortcut, and I can push pull, which is P as a shortcut, and I can bring it out to 600. And I can do the same over here. So I'll do this without shortcuts. Trace over here. And push pull. If I double click it, it'll remember the last push pull that I did. That one went the wrong way. 600. Okay. Now I can go and I can delete the faces of these. I can use the BIM tool, which is here. Uh, and I can create that into a, a box cutter. I'm going to now go around and I'm going to do a parapet wall up the top here. Go back to my wall tools, select the type of wall that you want to use. Okay, I'm using EPS in this particular one. I'm going to start here. Okay, now I want to actually draw from the inside of the wall. So what I'm going to do is, actually there's two things I did it wrong here. I made a mistake because I started at the top of the wall. Uh, I'll just explain to you what that did. Notice I didn't cover the bottom of the wall. You can move them down later if you choose. I'm going to undo that. I should have started down here where I made my uh, little construction line there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my right arrow and I'm going to start from the inside of the wall. I'm going to come out and I'm going to push shift until I get to the end of the wall here. Shift. Okay. And we can go back into the wall as well if we choose. Okay, now I have parapet walls. You can see how I can quickly start to create what it is I need. I'm going to do the top roof up here as well, so I'm going to do it one more time. Top roof, skillion, pitch, change your pitch. You can change your pitch later if you choose. Go in here. Oops, I actually made a mistake there because this wouldn't be the low point. I would think this would be the low point. I'm not going to push control on this one because I want an overhang at all sides. Okay. I can also go in, offset my top roof and 750. Okay, go back to my walls. Submit. I'm going to trace this one. And I'm doing this quickly, guys. I should spend a little bit more time, but... Okay, now I have my parapets. I can then go and trace my walls and do everything else there, but um, it's a really quick and easy way to do things. All right, hope that helps out. Cheers, guys.